Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to class 10 in the lecture series on writing an effective resume. In this class, we are going to discuss why writing projects and internships on resume are important. So before we get into the discussion why they are important, let us first understand what they are. So what is a project? A project is a piece of research work undertaken by a candidate. And what is an internship? It is a position of a student or a trainee who works in an organization in order to gain work experience or satisfy requirements for the quali for, for a qualification now let me categorize them even more just for your understanding better understanding now project has a limitations project is done within the campus whereas internship is done outside the campus so internship has more weightage than a project however those two things these two things are considered as real-time works by the interviewer. A company always looks for some real-time work done by a student or a candidate. So this project and internships are the real-time works, what a student or a candidate might do more during their graduation or post-graduation. Now, why should I write projects and internships on resume? Now, Interviewers appreciate a practical work instead of theoretical subject knowledge. Yes. Let us assume you are an interviewer and you have two resumes. One resume has five to six subjects as student's proficiency, whereas second resume has two projects which are real time or let's say two internships. Now, what would you prefer if you are an interviewer? Definitely an interviewer will tend to pick a candidate who did more internships and more projects because projects is real time. Theoretical knowledge may not directly replicate the real time work environment. So who does internship or who does project, they might have very good exposure of a real time work. So interviewers prefer them. Second point, they become your technical interview questions. Obviously, when interviewer got excited looking at your questions, looking at your resume, then definitely they become your technical questions. Now, what does that mean? Instead of asking any other typical subject or asking any other their requirements, it is better they ask questions related to your project. So, it becomes questions to which it comes to you to you as a question in an interview. Third point: recent work can be easily presentable. Yes, how many of you remember a subject which you read three years back? or four years back. Difficult, right? If you have done something in your previous semester or six months back, then it is easily recollectable. By the time a candidate attends any interview, project or internship will, will be a part of your recent past, which means speaking about project or speaking about internships will be comparatively easier to you than talking about a subject which you dealt three years back or four years back. Next point, it replicates teamwork. Now what a company looks for is they want a candidate who can work in teams. Why teamwork is important? Because anything dealt in any work environment is divided, the work is divided among the team members or among the various teams. So companies prefer who does work in teams in their past. So obviously projects and internships give great exposure for teamwork. So interviewers tend to hire candidates who did more teamwork. Now let us see how you, are, you have to write. Now your heading will be obviously internship on your resume and then you will write, write organization. I have given an example of an internship here. Organization, this student have done her internship or his internship in BHEL, Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited, New Delhi. And what is the organization type? You can write organization type. It is It may be private sector or public sector, whatever it is. Here, the candidate has written Maharatna. Duration, yes, you can write duration. 45 days above will be appreciable. What is the role? You can definitely write what the role you have taken during that internship. Here the candidate wrote research assistant and the domain what that candidate worked on is photovoltaic cells testing and characterization. Now 
what will happen to an interviewer when when he or she looks at this this content on a resume of of a candidate they definitely ask questions about any of these things they might ask about organization they might ask about the duration they might ask about the role you have taken they might ask about what is your major cont- contribution to the company during that time or they might ask about what is your major learnings you, they might ask about what is the outcome they might ask about the domain photovoltaic cell here they might ask what you have done okay so these these are the questions candidate is giving to the interviewer so please understand the difference between they asking questions and you giving questions then next is project look at the example of a project did by a student so title here subheading on resume will be projects then first heading is title and this candidate's title is voice based email service for visually challenged people and this candidate wrote the tools used so he wrote all the tools he has used he or she has used here and the candidate also wrote the team size replicating that the uh, a candidate did this in team which is very important thing for an interviewer major contribution because it is a team work now candidate is writing what is his or her major contribution handle back end interface so his major contribution his or her major contribution is he or she is handling back end interface then the candidate also have written the achievement what is the achievement published a technical paper in an international journal titled ieee transactions on information theory so now looking at this content on a candidate's resume interviewer will definitely get excited to ask and interviewer have freedom to pick any module of this any tool used they can ask about your major contribution they can ask about your achievement they can ask about they can pick a word from your title and they can ask they might ask about project and these are the things which a candidate should be ready with so this is what this is what the the role a project and internship going to play on your resume preferably in technical interview so when you write these things on your resume please be very careful and write only what you are sure write only what you can talk about don't just dump the information don't just write some sentences don't write descriptions and all just write specific content what you can speak about confidently hope this information is useful for you in the next video I shall talk about trainings and certifications how they can be written on resume and what role they play in an interview thank you for watching this video hope you like the content if you want more such videos please subscribe to our channel thanks for watching